Hi everyone, and welcome to my video on how to use Grammarly on Android. Grammarly is a powerful tool that can help you improve your writing by checking for grammar, spelling, and punctuation errors, as well as suggesting stylistic improvements. It's available on a variety of devices, including Android smartphones and tablets. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of downloading and installing Grammarly on your Android device, creating a Grammarly account, and using the app to check your writing. For this video, we will use the free version of Grammarly, but you can also get the premium version, which has features such as the plagiarism checker and style suggestions. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Grammarly to improve your writing skills and produce error-free content, no matter what you're writing. Check the timestamp in the description to get to the part you are interested in. Why use Grammarly on Android? There are many benefits to using Grammarly on Android, including improved grammar and spelling, Grammarly can help you identify and correct grammar, spelling, and punctuation errors in your writing. Enhanced writing style. Grammarly can suggest stylistic improvements to your writing, such as making your sentences more concise and engaging. Increased confidence. When you know that your writing is free of errors, you can feel more confident sharing it with others. Who can benefit from using Grammarly on Android? Grammarly can be beneficial for anyone who wants to improve their writing skills, including students. Grammarly can help students improve their writing assignments and get better grades. Professionals. Grammarly can help professionals write clear and concise emails, reports, and other documents. Content creators. Grammarly can help content creators write error-free blog posts, social media posts, and other content. If you're serious about improving your writing skills, then Grammarly is a great tool to have on your Android device. Downloading and installing Grammarly on Android. For this video, I am using a Google Pixel 7a with Android 14. This is the stock version of Android, but no matter the phone you have, the steps should be the same. If you have a Huawei phone, you know you cannot access the Play Store, so you need to use the Huawei App Store. To download and install Grammarly on your Android device, follow these steps. Open the Google Play Store. Search for Grammarly. Tap the Install button for the Grammarly Grammar Keyboard. If you scroll down a bit, you will find also an app called Grammarly Beta. That app has the latest features that Grammarly tries out. If you like to try new stuff and are aware that errors might occur, then you can also install that app. Once Grammarly is installed, tap the Open button, or go where you have the Grammarly app installed and tap it. Tap Get Started. Create a Grammarly account or sign in with an existing account. I will select Continue with Google as that is the easiest one. You can also create an account with your email address and Facebook or log in with your current account. Tap on the account you wish to use for the service. I will not subscribe to a paid membership. I will tap on Skip for now or the close icon from the top right. Tap Add Grammarly Keyboard. Tap Got It. Now activate the on-screen keyboard. Toggle on the switch on the right of the Grammarly app. Tap OK. Tap again OK. Now tap Switch Input Methods. Select the Grammarly keyboard. Here you can enable some options like the number of rows to be separate and also keyboards. I suggest enabling both of these, but is up to you, as it will not affect the working of the app. Tap Continue. Tap again Continue. You can allow Grammarly to send you notifications. You can choose what you want here. We are in the settings for the Grammarly keyboard. Before testing the system, I wanted to stay a few moments to this page, because this can help you customize your app how you want it. Theme. This setting allows you to choose the theme of your Grammarly keyboard. You can choose from a variety of colors or upload your own photo. Languages. In this section, you can download multiple languages for your keyboard. You can download your native language or maybe a language that you learn. Keyboard. In this section, you will find many options for your keyboard from Android. Number row will allow you to enable or disable the number keys above the upper row of the keyboard. 
Keyboarders allow you to enable or disable the borders around each keyboard. Show extra symbols on keys allows you to insert symbols by long pressing on the corresponding key. Switch language on the spacebar allows you to choose whether or not you want to use the spacebar to switch language. The long press spacebar will allow you to set a custom action for long pressing the spacebar. Keyboard height allows you to adjust the height of your Grammarly keyboard. You can choose from a variety of sizes to find one that is comfortable for you. Some other options that you can customize are emoji skin tone or what happens when you key press a key. You can put your phone to vibrate, make a sound, and pop on key press. You can activate or disable any of these options as you would like. But how do you use the Grammarly keyboard? Open any app where you can type text, such as an email app or social media app. Tap on a text field to open the keyboard. Start typing. Grammarly will automatically check your grammar and spelling. To accept a Grammarly suggestion, tap on it. That's it. You've now successfully downloaded, installed, and enabled the Grammarly keyboard on your Android device. But what if you do not like the Grammarly keyboard? What if you want to use another keyboard? Grammarly has rolled out a new update that allows you to use the Grammarly app with any keyboard. Also, it allows you to write a text and then copy it in any app you would like. For this, just open the Grammarly app. On the bottom, you see a notification that Grammarly works with all keyboards. Tap on Turn On. Tap Open Settings. Tap on the Grammarly app. Allow Grammarly to be used as a writing assistant. Tap Allow. Here is an example. The G floating is showing some suggestions. Tap Done. So when you will write something, the floating G will send you information about how to edit your text. That is quite good and allows you to use any keyboard. If you tap on Improve It, you will receive some suggestions from Grammarly. Also, if you tap again on the app, you will see an option called Drafts. There, you can write some text before getting it to another app. That option is quite easy to use as you have the copy button directly on the screen. This is how you use Grammarly on Android. In this video, we've learned how to use Grammarly on Android. Grammarly is a powerful tool that can help you improve your writing by checking for grammar, spelling, and punctuation errors, as well as suggesting stylistic improvements. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials and tips.